Ready for... Sorry, hold on one second. Hello? Yo, girl, I got a video of myself on my iPhone. What's the best way to do that? I'm so sorry about that. Okay. Are you kidding right now? Hello? Hey, Liz, real quick. Do you have a good camera recommendation? All right, back to business. I am so sorry. Okay, let me get this. Just roll the intro. Gear. There's so much gear in the world, it's overwhelming to think what setup is going to be right for you. Do I invest a ton of money in a DSLR or do I just use my phone? Do I need professional lighting or can I just use natural light? Is Sony or Canon better? What in the heck is a DSLR? Whoa, take a beat. Not that kind of beat. The good news is you can find super high quality cameras no matter the budget to fit your project's description. The three things you need to remember no matter what you shoot on is that you always want to make sure you are in focus, well lit, and your audio is clear and clean. Now I'm going to walk you through two setups, an iPhone setup and a DSLR. And you'll be able to find the details for both down in the description. The iPhone setup. An iPhone mobile gorilla pod tripod, wide or superfish moment lens, the moment iPhone case. Before you start putting your rig together, make sure to change the video settings on your phone. Go to settings, camera, record video, and depending on what phone you have, these options will pop up. I like the film look, so I keep my phone on 4K at 24 frames per second, but you can choose between 24 and 30. Then you'll only want to shoot in 60 frames per second if you're doing any slow motion shots. Now attach the Moment iPhone case to your phone. Attach whichever Moment lens you'd like to use. For reference, this is the wide and this is the Superfish. I'm going to use the wide. Once the lens is attached, attach your phone to the Gorillapod. and you're good to go. Next, go to a window that is flooded with indirect light, meaning no direct sunbeams are touching your skin. Sit in front of that window. I like to prop my phone rig up on something so that I am slightly looking up at the phone. This helps eliminate any double chin mishaps. You wanna shoot from the lens that's on the back of your iPhone because it's higher resolution, so you won't be able to see yourself. So have a friend frame you in the center of your shot and take a picture for your approval. Once you're happy with the shot, hit that record button and begin shooting. Now let's turn this up a notch. DSLR setup. For this camera rig setup, I'll be using a Sony 6500, a Sony 10 to 18mm lens, a Rode Video Micro on-camera mic. With this camera, there's no way of seeing myself while I shoot, so I need to add a Sony on-camera monitor, a small rig cage to mount the microphone and monitor with, a cold shoe to attach to the cage to mount to the microphone, a micro to HDMI cable to attach to the monitor, camera battery, memory card, a Gorillapod or tripod. Here's what it looks like once everything is put together. We've got our lens attached, the cage is attached, and over here in the cold shoe we have the mic, the monitor is attached up here, the battery and memory card are already in this little slot here, and the whole thing is attached to a tripod. Here's our location with our camera all set up. Cat is going to be our lovely stand-in today. Now you could also use natural light in this setup, but since we are really going for it, let's review some lighting options. This is a ring light, which always provides beautiful lighting, especially if you're closer to the camera. But there are also light panels that you can put on either side of yourself so that both sides of your face are lit evenly. I find this helpful if you're interviewing someone. This is looking good. Cat, let me jump in there. All right, here we are on set now. There's the lights right there, right there. And here's our camera with the monitor attached so that we can see ourselves. Once again, everything I talked about today is linked down in the description. Stay creative ravers and I will see you Tuesday.